my family. Now, a couple of days ago, the palace and Prince William did something to take the heat off of Prince Andrew, my family. After court documents were released containing even more and more allegations and even statements from victims of Jeffrey Epstein, the my family, they also were abused by Prince Andrew. My family, after those court documents came out, the palace, of course, had to do something to take the heat off of Prince Andrew. And as all of you know by now, they normally have to invent or find a way to create a story for the media to deflect from any scandals about Prince Andrew or any other member of the royal family. That is what sadly the palace normally does. You know? And my family, a couple of days ago, it was reported that Prince Harry, his name was left out of prestigious army book celebrating Sandhurst Military College top alumni. However, William's name made the cut. My family. And even William was allowed to pen the books forward. My family. And William was named even as a top alumni of Sandhurst. However, Harry's name, my family, was not there in the book. And uh, Daily Mail wrote, Harry's Sandhurst humiliation. And different tabloids, different media outlets also said that Prince Harry was being humiliated with that move. And clearly, the ones who were behind that move indeed were Prince William and my family, really the palace in general, because they were looking for a way to deflect from Prince Andrew's scandal by once again creating a story for the media to talk about, a story about Harry, a story of how Harry is being humiliated clearly by the palace, clearly by Prince William. Harry is someone who has served the country for the better part of a decade, gone on two tours, my, my family, to Afghanistan, serving his country. His name was left out. For my family, you know, a book mentioning Sandhurst's military college top alumni. Harry, the founder of the Invitas game, his name was left out. And people have been calling out, you know, the palace's actions. People have been calling out Prince William's actions. And one of those people calling out the actions of the palace is Dr. Shola. Someone who I deeply admire and respect so much. And my family, I want you to be able to hear exactly what Dr. My Family Shola said about the palace's move, my family. Please kindly hear, my family, what Dr. Shola, my family, said. My family, please kindly look at this please i think it's such a scam to be honest with you I'm, I'm also laughing because of the um comment about the officer and gentleman i i'm not aware that it turned out gentlemen but you know what uh, i think the reality here is that people are naturally going to make a comparison between the fact that william who has a less noteworthy contribution made the list but <laughs> harry did not harry my family william who has a less noteworthy military contribution made the list of Sandhurst's military college top alumni, but Harry did not make the list. 
People are going to talk about it. My family. People are going to talk about it. And they're going to see just how absurd it is that Harry did not make the list. Even though he's the founder of the Invitas Games. Even though my family, he went on two tours to Afghanistan. Serving his country. In a war zone. My family, Harry went to war for his country. While William was being protected, cordoned by the palace. As the palace was saying, the heir had to be protected because my family is valuable. However, the risk was, was acceptable for Harry the Spare. My family, that is what the palace said. And really, I feel so angry to see how the palace has been, my family, you know, demeaning Prince Harry. And even... My family downplaying Harry's worth. You know? You know, it is so, so disgusting to see what the palace even, how they viewed Prince Harry. You know? It, it is so, so demeaning to hear how they viewed Harry. When you, when you hear someone saying that William is so, so important, that his life is too valuable, but Harry's, you know, for him, if he goes to war, you know, the risk to his life is acceptable. When you see someone speak like that about you, I mean, I'm like, where is Charles? Where is Harry's father to say, you know what, my son's life, all my son's life, all their lives, they matter. Where is Charles to say that? Well, where was he when Paris got tears? were talking like that about his son. You know? And, and the thing is, what also I feel so angry about is how my family, Harry was used by the palace. When the palace needed him, they used him and made Harry walk behind his mother's coffin to get sympathy. You know? And though the public don't abolish the monarchy. However, my family, You've seen how they've poorly treated Harry. When my family is all grown up, how they viewed him, how they spoke about him, even behind the scenes. That my family right now has become public. Of how Paris Cotillas were like, William's life is important, but you know what? Harry to him, if he goes to war, you know, the rest of his life is, you know what? Acceptable. I can't even imagine if, I don't know if Harry even had that. Or was told of that. But my family, if someone speaks like that about me, I'll be offended. I'll be angry. I'll be pissed off. If someone speaks about, you know, speaks to me or about me, that way I'll be offended. You know? And I'll definitely never ever trust that person with my life. Because already they've said I'm not too important to them. I would definitely not trust them with my life. You know, and, it, and it's really so sad to hear how they were talking about Prince Harry behind the scenes. This is someone who you used to save the monarchy at a time when public opinion or the monarchy and the royal family was so low, you used Harry and William to save the monarchy. You made them walk behind their mom's coffin to get sympathy. And you got that. You got it. Then why not treat well the person you used to save the monarchy after Charles cruelly mistreated Diana and the public got angry when Diana passed away because of how she was treated by the royal family. Why can't you protect the person you used for your own benefit, for your own agenda, instead of treating him so, so disrespectfully. Where was Charles when they were having these conversations? You know, my family, I'm not a father. I don't have kids yet. But if someone spoke like that about any of my kids as a father, definitely, I'd be angry. I'd be pissed off. You know? But clearly, Charles doesn't care. And they knew that Charles never really cared. 
As I have always said, really, Charles only cared about Harry for as long as he could use Harry. When he saw he can't use Harry anymore, my family, you can see Charles' true colors as being someone who clearly doesn't care about his own son. He only cares if he can use his son. You know? And I'm happy, really, that Dr. Shola is telling the world the truth. You know? If you're going to pull off this move and put William's name on a book carrying, you know, a list of Sandhurst's top, you know, military, you know, my family alumni, and you put William's name and not put Harry's name, the only thing you are doing is even mocking every single person who you've put in that book. You are embarrassing them. You are depicting that they put put there don't even deserve to be there. Because if someone who founded the Invictus Games, if someone who served his country for the better part of my family of a decade did two tours my family of Afghanistan, is it worthy to be in the book carrying the list of Sandhurst top military my family alumni who have achieved so much? If Harry isn't worthy of being there, then what makes anyone think William is worthy of being in that book, is worthy of being a part of that list? But sadly, the story of William's life, he's always gotten everything just because my family, he's the heir. He was born first, you know? That, you can say, is William's main achievement. And only that. You know? You won't see anything else. Only that you'll see as being Prince William's achievement. Only that. You know? And uh, no wonder William will always be how he is. Because my family, no one is ready or prepared to tell him the hard truth. You know? There is someone who he needs to be accountable for his own actions. He needs to only claim or take credit for something that he actually has achieved. If he sees in the list, you know what? My name is here, but my brother's name, who served, you know, who did two tours, you know, of Afghanistan, and who's opened the video games, his name isn't there. I'm like, you should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed that you're being recognized, that your name is being mentioned for doing nothing. You know? You should be embarrassed. But for William, he doesn't care. The only thing that he cares about is just my family, you know, somehow undermining Prince Harry and Meghan to prop himself up. That's the only thing my family that he cares about. You know? But William, these moves that you are partaking in are only embarrassing you. Are only embarrassing you. You know? And no wonder even Dr. Shola is calling you out. You know, saying that even what William has done, you can't compare to what Harry has achieved in the military. You cannot. You cannot. And that is a fact. You know, my family, that is a fact. Even as Dr. Shola, my family, has said, Harry has had a much more notable military career than Prince William. That's true. That's true. So William, you have the power. You and the palace have the power to ensure Harry's name is not in this list of Sandhurst, you know, top military, my family, you know, college alumni. You have the power to remove Harry's name there. But whenever you see your name there, you'll have to remember that you don't deserve to be there. Because if Harry is unworthy of being there, then surely... William is even more unworthy of having his name, my family, as someone who is my family, is recognized family, is recognized or has been recognized as a top alumni from Sandhurst Military College. If Harry's name isn't there, William, you can be sure, 
doesn't deserve to be there. And that is the truth and nothing but the truth. And even Dutashola is saying the same thing. He's saying it. And that is the truth and nothing but the truth, my family. You know? My family keep hearing more on what Dr. Shola, my family, is saying. Please keep my family. Keep hearing this, please, my family. The royal family could have just nipped in the bud, quite frankly, because we all know that Harry did a whole lot more than William did. Now, exactly. Um, one of the uh, panelists rightly pointed out, but you're making this about Harry and William. Well, the only reason it's made the news is because it is about Harry and William and the royal family and people going on about, well, how he has not behaved properly. His relationship with his family has absolutely jackal to do with his contributions to his country. Exactly. You know, his military service. Exactly. When, when people point My family. The problems that Harry has with the royal family and with the UK media, have nothing to do with Harry's military contributions. When you remove his name, you know, from a place by, he's supposed to be really in this book. As someone family who has achieved so much in the military, when you remove his name and say, you know what, he's spoken ill about the royal family, our precious royal family, you're only embarrassing yourself. You're only showing that the book that you've written is just my family, you know, really, the names that you put there are people who are all unworthy of even being mentioned there. That is what the palace and Prince William family are doing. You can't bully someone and his wife, make them flee the UK, and then be angry because they dare speak up about what you did to them, about your disrespect of them. You can't. You can't. My family. The thing is, when you abuse someone, that person has every right in the world to speak up. William knows he's guilty of causing pain and suffering to Harry Meghan. But he did that because his jealousy of, of Harry turned into hatred. He was super, super jealous that Harry married an amazing, remarkable woman. A smart woman. An intelligent woman in the family. That William wanted to destroy that for Harry. Just to prop himself up my family. That's what William did. And he felt entitled to do what he did. Because he saw the Queen did that to Margaret. And she benefited immensely. You know, she, get, she got my family immense popularity. Margaret was forced out of public life. It was miserable. Same thing also as Prince Andrew and family. It's happened to him as well. William also felt entitled to ensure it happens to Harry. But for him, he has failed in destroying his brother. But he, he has tried. He has tried. So my family, to all those so-called correspondents who have been saying they can't see how William and Harry will heal or mend their in family, I do hope on the bottom of my heart, that my family, Prince Harry, he can forgive for what William did to him. You know, there's no point in, you know, having grudges in your heart. But I do hope that my family, Harry, never ever trust William ever again. You must never ever trust him ever again because that person will betray him. That person will not stop, stop trying to destroy his own brother to prop himself up. That is the story of Prince William. This stuff about removing Harry's name from a book, you know, and putting William's name as someone who is a most recognizable, you know, top alumni from Sandhurst, removing Harry's name and just keeping William's name there. My family, it is, it is the story of William's life. He's always been trying to erase his brother. To remove Harry from public life. Just so he can benefit from destroying the spare. William, you have failed. And you won't ever succeed in destroying Prince Harry. And I hope you get that into your head. And people are calling you out for what you're doing. It is wrong. It is immoral. Harry's contribution to family in the military. Cannot be negated or forgotten. Because he dared 
defend the woman he loves from the abusive institution. That everyone in Britain is supposed to somehow revere. Somehow bow to. The fact is Harry served. Harry served his country for the better part of a decade in active military duty. My family went to two tours. Did two tours my family of Afghanistan. Harry did two tours of Afghanistan. Went to war for his country. Opened the Invicta schemes that have stuck the lives of so many veterans. That is the truth and nothing but the truth. And nothing can ever negate that. His military contribution family are that. My family, he has achieved so much and helped the military community. Harry has helped his military family. Harry has done that for them. By, by even founding the Invitas Games family, by even founding the Invitas Games, Harry has done that for them. By supporting the military community, Harry has helped the military community. Harry has done that. You know? And nothing that Harry has said to defend his family, Megan actually repeat from the abusive UK media and the farm, should ever negate those military contributions that he has made. My family, nothing should ever negate that. And every time the royal family and UK media want to embarrass or humiliate Prince Harry, the only ones that they are embarrassing, the only ones that they are humiliating are themselves, my family. And that is the truth and nothing but the truth, my family. You know, keep on hearing my family, what Dr. Shola, my family, has said, please. His relationship with his family has absolutely jackal to do with his contributions to his country, you know, in his military service. Exactly. And when, when people point out, for instance, that Winston Churchill made the list, okay, let's take a look at Winston Churchill, who is famous for leading his country through World War II, and rightly so, but he's equally famous for his belief in the superiority of the white race. For you know, being responsible for the genocide of millions of Indians in the Bengali famine, and let's not forget that he forced hundreds of thousands of Kenyans into concentration camps. But he made the list. So yeah, people are going to I make think, you know, I, why do so? They're going to make comments. So Shola, I mean, fair point there. People are going to talk about it. People are going to talk about it. You know, you know, by removing Harry, or even not. You know, recognizing his military contributions. And you know that Harry has contributed immensely to the military. Even more than William. You know that very well. You know? And by not recognizing Harry, you're putting, you know, the others who have been named in this so-called prestigious book. You are showing the world that they don't even deserve to be there. That, my family, is what the royal family, you know, are doing. That's what my family, William, is doing. In his bid to destroy his brother, William can't see or recognize that he's humiliating himself. That he's undermining himself and even others in the process in his bid to just try and, you know, somehow humiliate Harry, protect Prince Andrew. He's only embarrassing himself. You know, and I do hope that William somehow opens his eyes and sees that which is right in the family in front of him. You know? All these attempts at using Harry as a scapegoat or using stories about Harry, getting stories for the media to talk about, to defend from Prince Andrew, the only thing that it's doing, it is, my family, it is humiliating or embarrassing the other members of the whole family and exposing them for who they are. By protecting Prince Andrew, someone who's caused so much pain and harm to young girls, to underage, you know, my family women, you know, girls, caused so much pain to them. Charles and William are my family really destroying the monarchy. My family, that is what they're doing. You know, that is what they're doing. And I've told them time and time again, this smear campaign against Harry Meghan needs to stop. And I'll keep telling them that, my family. This smear campaign against Harry Meghan, it needs to stop. 
Stop using Harry and Meghan as a scapegoat to deflect from Prince Andrew. Stop using Harry and Meghan as scapegoats. You are only undermining and humiliating yourself in the process you know, of trying to undermine or humiliate Harry and Meghan. You are only humiliating yourself. Now even Dr. Shola herself is saying, everybody knows what everybody already knows that William is someone who clearly has not had you know, a more notable career than Harry. Dr. Shola is saying to the family that Harry clearly is the one who has had a much more notable career than Prince William. Everyone is saying that. You know? And William must have done what he did really, knowing that Harry's name wasn't mentioned, to humiliate Prince Harry, to say that, you know what, Harry, I'm so powerful, I can do anything that I want, I can get away with anything, I can take away anything that you hold precious. William, and you have taken away some things that Harry cares about. For example, he's and Meghan's only UK home. You've ensured that Harry and Meghan are stripped with the security. William, you've done that to cause pain and harm to your brother and to Meghan Markle. But the only person you've exposed as being cruel is you, William. That's what you've done. And clearly that's something that William, you know, has never wanted for him to be exposed. But my family, he has been so, so exposed. And it's a fact. Now, no one, if anyone ever, you know, saw William as someone who is, you know, a good person, people don't think that way anymore. Why? Because of the fact that he has been exposed in high atmosphere as someone who caused so much pain, you know, to Prince Harry, to Meghan Markle, as someone who physically attacked his own brother while trying to destroy his own brother's, you know, marriage. And he failed. And he'll keep on failing. You know? That's the story of Prince William's, my family life. That's just who he is. And I do hope that one day he wakes up. You know, and stop this, you know, smear campaign against Harry Meghan. For the first time in history, William, the spell will not be destroyed. And the sooner you get that into your head, the better. All this stuff about trying to humiliate Harry, of trying to humiliate Prince Harry, to prop yourself up. William, you're only exposing and embarrassing yourself. It's a bad look on you. It reflects badly on you. And I hope you do wake up and see what is right in front of you. This smear cup against Harry Megan. This smear cup against Harry Megan. It's only exposing you and Charles and Kate and Camilla as the bad guys, as the villains. Of course, you want to see. You want to see Harry Megan being viewed as the ones who are the villains. But guess what? That is not what is happening. People with common sense are standing by Harry Megan's side. People are supporting Harry Megan. And they're calling out Prince William. A poll done a couple of days ago. I released my family a couple of days ago. My family was you know, revealed that right now, support for the monarchy has gone below 50% for the first time in history. For the first time in a very long time, my family. You know? And do you know why? Mainly because of this ongoing smear campaign against Harry Meghan. And the palace protecting Prince Andrew. You know? And I do hope they wake up and stop this smear campaign against Harry Meghan. If not, my family, I hope they do realize that they are only hurting themselves. Every attempt at trying to humiliate Harry Meghan, it blows back on senior members of the royal family, on Charles, on William, on Kate, on Camilla. My family, that is what happens. My family, now you tell me your thoughts, my family, about what we have just discussed. I want to hear, my family, your opinion. You know? Even let me read comments in response of what Dr. Shola, my family, has said. Someone said that the same as all the role playing dress up when they refused Harry to wear his military uniform. When other, you know, others, you know, other than Prince Andrew, even, he is the only one that's actually fought for his country. But like Harry said, he doesn't need a uniform to prove his service, the same as he doesn't need his name on a book. I like that exactly. I like that exactly, my family. I like that exactly. 
Harry doesn't need a uniform to prove his service. He also doesn't need a book to prove my family his service. People have seen what he's done for the military and people are thankful. The family. People are thankful. Even on Remembrance Day, people came out, veterans came out and said, thank you for the Invitas Games, my family. Veterans were talking about how the Invitas Games had touched their lives. And even if Harry's name and family wasn't mentioned, the fact is, Harry is the one who's the founder of the Invitas Games. My family. And everyone there recognized how the Invitas Games has helped them, my family. And the Royal Family had to sit there and hear of how the Invitas Games touched the lives of my family veterans. You know? And my family, I like how, you know, my family has touched you know, their lives, my family. I love it 100% my family. My family, someone else, you know, said that, Dr. Shola, thank you so much. Once again, telling that to my family. You know, and I love Dr. Shola 100%. My family, you know, I believe I have said enough. Now you tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lipetana and Doria. And all of you, Members the squad at home. He never wins. Love wins and stay tuned on this video. Love you all forever and may God bless you all my family. Hello, members of the Squad Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always be great over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.